I did Taekwondo for two or three years. I became a black belt. And my dad, he saw a flyer when he was working in Manhattan for gymnastics. I started taking gymnastics more seriously. And after a while, I just um, quit Taekwondo. It wasn't really for me. I, I can't like be beating up guys you know, for no reason, just to get medals. I can't do that. I was actually too young to um, be on the team. But when they saw me for the tryouts, they said that I was you know, great and you know, like, I, I'll do wonderful things in gymnastics. So I started going there on a full scholarship. But I had to quit. I came here, and then everyone here was a little more focused and more goal-oriented. Very first day he came in, uh, it was an evaluation, and the mom and dad were saying, oh, he can do all this and that, and we've heard it a million times before. But he came in and he did like round off three back handsprings, and he did it with such power and such grace, we were just like, wow, that's really something special here. Every event that we showed him a new skill on, he picked it up right away, and you know, he made some of our senior guys look you know, pretty bad. Well, he was only eight, but after a year, I knew I had the most talented gymnast that I had ever encountered. This gym is like my second home. Everybody here is really nice, and being here every day, it's not a burden. He was really born for gymnastics, so I just have this feeling that one way or another, he was going to discover gymnastics, and he's very lucky that he has parents that really support that. When he came to the arena, I noticed him kind of a little off, kind of sidetracked, and I knew what the problem was. He caught on quickly that something was up. And right away, he told me, listen, let's go, let's not compete. And I looked at him and I said, I've already changed the flight. We leave tonight, but you must compete. It's what your dad would want you to do. He wouldn't want you to give it up, not to him. So go after it. Part of me wanted to go home and get to him as quickly as possible. But the other part of me knew that he would have wanted me to compete and you know bring home some golds possibly. But once the warm-up started, he was able to pretty much put that behind him and it was just strictly gymnastics. From the moment I, I wanted to work, I knew I wasn't gonna take the money for myself because I knew when I started working that I wanted to help our family with our financial problems, and um, you know that's love. <laughs> he gets into the van with his check and he hands it over to his dad and he says, here you go, dad, you can pay the mortgage. And we just cried because at that moment you say, he knows the value of life, of family. So his father said right now I could die and I'd die happy. I have a passion for gymnastics, and it's something that I've, I've always wanted since I stepped foot in the gym. Once he salutes his hand in a competition, his performance is like just like so much better than in practice. When you do it that way, and then you do it the way before, it's, it's like minced meat and prime rib. It's, it looks so much different. He needs to start training now like he performs in a competition. And because of doing that, he makes his, his overall training curve continue to rise. Good. He's the whole package. There's just really nothing he lacks. He had the flexibility, the strength, and the desire. To reach the highest level in gymnastics, you pretty much have to have all of those attributes, and, and he excels in all of them. My goal, as for now, is 2012, but my shorter term goal is to make the senior team at the Winter Cup Challenge in February next year, and I guess you consider a long-term goal 2012 you know, 2016, even. What's 2012? <laughs> the Olympics in London. 